In this video, we're going to review how to determine the cause of a scan tool that does not communicate. This won't be a deep dive into bus diagnostics, but more of an overview on how to identify if the issue is with your scan tool or the vehicle. We will focus on vehicles that do not use Diagnostics over Internet Protocol, or DOIP. Scan tool communication happens on the all-familiar Datalink connector, or DLC. It has 16 terminals, and nine of those terminals are federally assigned. The remaining seven can be used by the manufacturer as needed. Let's jump right in with this 2017 Volvo V60. For this diagnostic process, you'll need your iScan device, a generic code reader, DVOM, and a scope. A DLC breakout box is also helpful, but not necessary. With our iScan device connected to the DLC, it powers up immediately. This tells us we have power and ground at the DLC, which are three of the mandatory terminals. Ground will be on terminals 4 and 5. Battery positive will be on terminal 16. If your scan tool does not power up, you'll want to test power and ground at those terminals. Next, an attempt at communication leaves us with only some systems communicating. No powertrain components communicate, but body systems do, like the driver information module. Since we are trying to diagnose an engine management issue, we will need to access the ECM. The ECM is not communicating, which tells us there might be an issue with the powertrain bus. Before digging too deep, let's try a simple code reader to see if it can communicate on the generic side. Same result, no communication. This is an easy way to see if the issue is with your scan tool or the vehicle. For example, your scan tool could power up, but not communicate due to a faulty cable or connector. Since both devices won't communicate, we have to assume the issue is with the vehicle. Let's take a look at this Volvo's DLC wiring to see what we're dealing with. It looks like the ECM and powertrain components communicate using terminals 6 and 14 at that DLC. These terminals are CAN high and CAN low, respectively. This is a mandatory powertrain protocol since around 2008. We have power and ground where we expect to see it, and the body bus is on terminals 3 and 11. The powertrain high-speed CAN bus operates at approximately 2.5 volts, and the circuit relies on terminating resistors to keep the signals clean. With your scan tool removed and the vehicle off and the key stored safely away from the vehicle, you can measure the terminating resistors at the DLC. Connect your DVOM across terminals 6 and 14. You can install a DLC breakout box if you have one or pull the DLC down to access the rear of it for back probing. In this example, we'll use a breakout box. You should read about 60 ohms. Now, if your DVOM displays 120 ohms, the issue could be wiring to a specific module or one of the resistors is faulty. The resistors are usually in the main modules like ECM and the CEM, but it can vary depending on the vehicle model. Now we'll need to test the electrical signals at the DLC. Good news is the bus should be active even when the scan tool is disconnected. Let's take a look at the signal. We are connecting channel 1 of our scope to terminal 6 and channel 2 to terminal 14. Connect your scope ground to the ground at the DLC, terminal 4 or 5. Our CAN high signal is shorted high at about 3.2 volts. This is why we're not communicating. Now that the vehicle has been identified as the cause, we'll have to determine where the short is coming from. To do so, you can power the vehicle off, then locate and disconnect modules on the specific bus until communication returns. We got lucky and found a short at the brake control module. With the short repaired, let's take a look at the signal again. Now we have what we expect to see, a CAN bus signal pattern with CAN high and CAN low in a differential pattern, healthy communication as shown here. You're probably wondering, what if we had good CAN signals, a powered up scan tool, but still no communication? That is why we tried the generic code reader. If it were a problem with a cable on our iScan device, the generic scan tool would have communicated, indicating an issue with our main scan tool. This same technique could be applied to the body bus 
if it were a system not communicating. On the subject vehicle, this would be terminals 3 and 11 at the DLC. This is a medium speed CAN, but the signal would be similar. You can apply these tests to most vehicles. Just be sure to reference a vehicle specific wiring diagram so you can correctly identify where to begin testing. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos for more helpful diagnostic tips.